NFL player Cody Sensabaugh's speech made students jump out of their seats to share their dreams. Because without a dream, you can't achieve nothing in this world. So one more time, who in here has a dream? Hold on, hold on. Why would Sensabaugh come to Severe? I decided to speak to Severe students today because this is where I graduated middle school from and this is my first time coming back and I just want to be hands-on with the kids and to try to make a difference in their lives. And Sabah came to give a message to the students of John Sevier. Uh, my message to Severe students would be to believe in yourself and to chase your dreams and with hard work and dedication you can be anything you want to in this world. The students got to ask Sen Sabah their questions. Most teachers thought that the time spent in the gym listening to Sen Sabah was a time well spent. Well, I think that any time that we can teach some of the things uh, that are outside of the actual curriculum of, you know, the four major subjects and related arts, we can teach things like responsibility and growth and how to achieve your goals. And I think that that's a really good use of class time. Uh, we try to incorporate that every day into class and having somebody to be a really good example for all of the students and showing them how they can succeed uh, and giving them a path and, and somebody who can be a, an active role model for a lot of the students here. I think that that was a great use of class time. Yes, I absolutely think Cody coming was a great um, opportunity for all the students and the teachers were actually given the option if we wanted to take our classes to it and I'm pretty sure almost every teacher in the building chose to go down there um, and have their students listen to what he had to say and I think it was very um, motivating and encouraging and I think what he had to say was also very inspiring and I'm glad that we got that, that opportunity. Not all students had the chance to see him speak. Uh, Cody Sensabaugh, I was kind of frustrated because I've never met him. I mean, I've seen him. I think he plays for the Titans, but I've never seen him in person, so I could have seen him, but I wasn't allowed. Students and teachers alike were inspired by Sensabaugh to follow their dreams. I definitely enjoyed um, the speech. I thought it was very inspiring, and I thought his steps that he said to take to reach your dreams were um, right on target. And I think that it applied to students as well as the adults in the room. And I found it just very inspiring. It made me reflect on what my dreams are, even as an adult, and the different things I still want to achieve in my life, too. Yes, I think uh, his speech motivated me to achieve my dreams of becoming a musician. Sensaba fondly remembers his childhood at Severe. Um, as a middle school student, I was very hard working. I did well in school, and I tried to do well in athletics. And sometimes I'm sure I was a little hot-headed or hard-headed, but I worked on that. But that's what I was like as a middle school student. Marty Moore also fondly remembers teaching and coaching Sensabaugh. I knew Cody when he was small in that I saw him play games in different sports. And uh, he's always been a good kid. He's always been really hardworking and uh, wanted to win. Um, the his eighth grade year we uh, had a situation where he and another player were very mad at one another because of a loss during the season and that just kind of shows the competitive drive that he has how has Sensabaugh changed over the years he has grown some obviously to be a nfl player now but he still is not nearly as big as you might think for an nfl player but uh he always worked hard. He was a hard worker when he was playing basketball and football here at Severe and still has to do that to succeed where he's at now. Moore knew early on that Sensabaugh would succeed. I would have said Cody might have gone more of the basketball route. Like he said when he was here at Severe the other day, he mentioned basketball is his favorite sport. He played football, but I think was a better basketball player at that time. He was actually the MVP of the state sectional tournament when we won it at Severe in 2003. So I'm not shocked he's where he's at. I'm shocked it's in the sport he's in. Sensaba has much advice for students. Work and dedication and listening to your elders because they've done most of the things that you're trying to do. So I would definitely say listening to your elders. Moore has advice for students to achieve their dreams like Sensaba. Well, we obviously use him as an example. And Daniel Kilgore that went through Severe that now plays in the NFL. So tell them that they've got to work hard and Cody mentioned that when he talked to the kids at Severe that you've got to do your work and school comes first and student athletes are called that because they're a student first then an athlete and he did what he needed to do in school worked hard outside of school before he ever played the sport so it's it you've just got to work hard in everything you do
Sensaba gives back to his community by teaching rising athletes what it means to play a sport. I decided to host my camp at DB because no one before me had done it and I just seen the opportunity, opportunity to give back to the community and the kids and just to make a difference in their lives and hopefully they'll learn, they'll learn how to treat others and be respectful and learn, learn a little bit about football while being at my camp. Sensaba is very grateful for his career. Uh, football means a lot to me. It's what I do, but it's not who I am. But right now I'm blessed enough to have this job, so it means a lot to me. This has been Kristen Fatima reporting for SSN.